the business elements are something that we try and work on yeah. very hard with yeah. all of our students. Well, we don't try. We incorporate into the actual training for everybody, filmmaker and actor. Has that been a benefit to both of you? 100%. It's essential, I think. I think there is there's just simply no other other way, it's, um, especially as a, as a freelance actor. I am my manager, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to represent myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I think some of the things you learn in business of the actor are, you, you do learn about agents and your relationship with agents and how that works. That, that's another thing as well. Um, the standard cookie cutter agent to actor relationship, you might not be happy with and you might want to negotiate Often that. not happy with. Often not happy yeah. with, unfortunately. So you get to learn how to work with agents, you get to learn how to, I guess, digitally market yourself on social media and everything. The tutor I had for business of, for business for the actor was Monica Davidson from Creative Plus Business. And when I graduated, we received four free business mentorship sessions with one of their consultants. That's now increased to 10. And more than that, the program is now free. So any actor can access those mentorship sessions, which I do, I still do. I've been doing it every other month since graduating now. It's so completely essential. My mentor at the moment now is a film producer and that's who I'm, I'm working with. But I also watch their free webinars. They've got some about how to set up your LinkedIn profile. This is all in the Business for the Actor two week course that I attended too. How to set up your LinkedIn profile, um, you know, pitching as well, so pitching films. Um, even I'm doing one next week on PR marketing as well because that's something I've not had any experience with myself but I, I've worked on projects that surround that topic and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think it's absolutely essential especially if you have aspirations to produce a feature film which I think a lot of graduates <laughs> do. I know in my ensemble there's at least like three or four of us who <laughs> <laughs> we have kind of film up here. We want to get out there and show and the world. We yeah. want to get out there um, yeah, it's, it's completely essential. Like my mentor, um, my last massive production, he told me luck is only preparation meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. So having this stuff to prep you and be able to show it, mm -hmm. like so hearing the actor say that you've got a filmed stage showcase, that's incredible because that you can show someone and go, I have this. So when someone does go, all right, we're thinking of hiring you for a job and you know that they're talking to 50 other people at the time and they are people who are filmed at other adjacent film schools, but you've got it all backing you and you've got all this stuff that you can go, I've done this, I can show it to you now. I've got it here, my LinkedIn's sorted, here's my CV, here are my contacts, hoping that they know one of the contacts go, oh, you've worked with James, how is he? Mm -hmm. Like that's, having that all there ready to go pays so much. It's all about networking and knowing people. And sometimes you only get that one shot, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's one shot, it's a call, it's a one day helping out and then you might become permanent crew and then you might jump onto the next project with them from the start. It's all just networking going along but having film school to work off that mm -hmm. is awesome because it, it does prepare you for the, for the really simple stuff you should know on set. That is not even second, it's third nature mm -hmm. for people on set. They do that every day, day in, day out. So knowing the situation of what things are gonna be like, so helpful, so key to doing a good job on set. Yeah. In terms of networking, you know, I, I always say to the actors when they're training here that mm. your reputation building starts from day one when you're training because you're working with the tutors that we hire here. My rule is they've got to be working practitioners. Yep. So working currently in the industry. And it does mean though that you're already auditioning. So we have directors who've used students or, or hired students in the real world as professional actors when they've graduated because they worked here. They taught them here or directed them in a student showcase. It's really important. You know, everyone that you're working with works in the industry and they, they will readily and easily talk about you if, if they're asked, oh, have you worked with James? Have you worked with Demi? Have you worked mm -hmm. with Lily? And they will absolutely say, their thoughts, their honest thoughts about working, their time working with you. And everyone knows everyone. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small yeah. industry. Small it's a very, like, you don't. You want to be so prepared, you want to be easy to work with, you yeah. want to be fun to hang around. Who caused the least headaches? And that's what it comes down to. Who was the easiest person who showed up on time, who did the job, who made my life easy? And you learn that. Like, by my last YR Festival's uh, projects, you, took, you chose the crew who you can trust to be there mm. and cared and showed up and did a good job. And you were hoping that you were the exact same person getting everyone else wanting you to be on their crew and be their designer or DOP or AD or whatever. That's interesting. Did you keep in contact with any of them? 100%. Yeah. No. Will you work, do you think, with any of them? Yeah. yeah. And I'll try and give them work as well. The people that I trust and I know, because every now and then I'll get a call, hey, can you run for me on this day? And I'm like, sorry, I booked out, but here's my mate. I trust her. 
she's brilliant, she will be there, she'll do a good job. And it is that thing of you're putting your name out there by putting somebody else's name. If I recommend someone and they don't do a good job, that mm. reflects poor me on me. Yeah. Yeah. That's my bad judgment. Yeah, right. yeah. So yeah. having 25 other students to work with and you know, help build yourself out. And that, yeah, there are people you won't get along with and you will hope not to work with again. You probably will, but that's fine because you still find your core 10 or your group of others and you, you do meet them out on set and that's f freaky, it's weird. <laughs> to be like, you're in the real world too? Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> but it's cool. Well done.